Hello. Welcome back, everybody, for our afternoon session. If I could ask everybody to take their seats, please. We are ready to start. We have a very full program, both in the morning and the afternoon. So I'm going to try to keep us somewhat on schedule. Um, for those of you who are just joining us for today's symposium, I am Laura Kelly, and I'm one of the co-chairs of today's event. And I'd like to welcome everybody here uh, to, to this very dynamic and exciting and very important, I think, um, event that we're hosting. My work and research about and with indigenous communities began somewhat circuitously. Uh, December of 2004, I drove west to spend three weeks in New Mexico and Arizona. And soon after arriving there, I had what you would call an aha moment. And a moment that utterly dismayed me. I realized that I had a PhD in US history, and yet I knew very, very little about the First Nations that inhabited this land other than the few popular and common milestones, the Trail of Tears, Custer's Last Stand, the massacre at Wounded Knee. That was about it. And I decided right then and there that I would address this gap in my knowledge. I would rewrite my lectures. I would teach myself more about this and incorporate that into my classes. The universe was listening to me because when I returned to New Orleans one week later in the first weekend of January of 2005, Patty Ferguson sent an email to the history department at Tulane University asking if there were any professors that would be interested in working um, with the tribe and doing research about the 18th century and the indigenous communities that inhabited this area. As you can imagine, I took that as a sign, a very big sign, and I said yes. And this was the start of a 13-year um, relationship that is still ongoing. 2005, as many of you know, is also the year that Hurricane Katrina struck and the man-made levees failed, flooding 80% of New Orleans. As a result of that catastrophe, Tulane University instituted a new dimension to their undergraduate programs, and that was all students had to take two service learning courses. And service learning meant that you worked with a community partner and you had to give 20, 40, 60 hours back working with that partner in addition to the normal schoolwork. This seemed like an ideal situation to develop courses about Native American history, but working with a tribe, working with living people. Teaching these courses, as well as interacting with students, quickly revealed several very important points. And these are important in the larger context of Native American issues today, many of which Jeffrey spoke to earlier this morning. Primary among these observations is that the general population has fixed, romanticized notions about Native Americans, and that they rarely ever see them as living people with a living culture. Rather, they see them as the noble savage. They live in teepees, yes, even down the bayou. I've, I've been meaning to tell you you've been doing it all wrong. You, you should be living in teepees, and you should be nomadic. You should not have fixed settlements. They see American Indians as a part. They see them as other. And we as society are also guilty in this because we silence Native people like some long forgotten dusty old document in an archive. One of the missions of this symposium is to correct this image and also to present a platform for the voices of American Indians in Louisiana today to speak to you directly. We had that in the morning and we will continue that this afternoon. We'd like to make the larger community aware that Native Americans do not exist in the shadows or only in dark, the deep, dark, misty annals of time but rather, again, are living people with different cultures, different languages, different viewpoints, and are diverse, not monolithic. We hope to share some of those aspects with you today and very, very much look forward to doing this again in one year's time with the second annual Indigenous Symposium. Um, we encourage you to reach out to Rebecca, to myself, and to everybody with ideas because we're open with what we should include and what we should be discussing in future symposiums. 
Another aspect of what we did, because it is the tricentennial, and even though it is 300 years of a very short history, but again, I loved the comment earlier of French friendship rather than commemoration. So celebrating that French friendship of 300 years, uh, we're going to do things a couple little bit differently in the afternoon. We are going to have sessions in French as well as in English, and um, we were also going to continue with the afternoon opening remarks with Senator Jacques Legendre, um, who came over here with the Academy.